Guys, do I look like Wendy from Peter Pan right now? This bow is giving me Peter Pan Wendy vibes. I always wanted to be Wendy. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Cooper New and today we're making another fun little treat in the kitchen. We're making champagne gummy bears. Let's go. I'm so excited. I'm gonna set these down. I made gummy bears once before on my channel. It was weird. Anyway, all of my friends and family know my two favorite things on earth are gummy bears and champagne. That's it, that's all I need. So let's combine them. There's a candy brand called Sugarfina. They have champagne gummy bears. They're amazing. So I'm gonna try to make them myself. So yeah, if you want to see how to make champagne gummy bears, it's supposed to be super easy, then just keep watching. So for this, you actually don't need very many things. You just need champagne, you need sugar, and you need gelatin. Oh, and also gummy bear molds. Hello, duh. For right now, I have one cup of the Brut Rosé is reducing over medium heat. Once this has kind of reduced down a little bit, we'll add another cup and a half. Uh, now I'm gonna do just the regular champagne. I figured it would be fun to try both. Again, I'm absolutely terrified of doing this part. Oh my God, am I doing it? I'm doing it. Oh, wow, I'm a beast. <laughs> nice. I took off the last one with a cork uh, opener. I know that's super not how you're supposed to do that, uh, but I did it. So one cup. Yes, I feel like I should pour myself a glass while I'm making this. What do you guys think? It is time for some. Champagne. I love to drink champagne. Everything's looking good. These guys are bubbling. I'm enjoying my day. How's everyone doing? Are we all doing well? Okay, so let me tell you guys a little bit about the gelatin we're using today. Agar agar. What I'll name my firstborn. It is a vegetable gelatin substitute. The difference here, this is plant-based. It's made from red algae without any artificial chemical ingredient. Regular gelatin is made from skin, bones, tendons, and cartilage of livestock animals. Yuck, that's kind of gross. Uh, this has fibers, calcium, iron, vitamins. So yeah, this should be interesting. I'm excited to try this. This one looks like it's reduced, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a cup and a half more. So the rose one is doing a nice job here. So we are going to go ahead and add the gelatin and also the sugar. So for the gelatin, you're doing one fourth of a cup. Okay, and now let's also add, while that's doing that, let's add a cup of sugar. There we go. So we are gonna continue to whisk this until everything dissolves and until it really thickens up. So now I'm going to do the exact same thing over here for our regular champagne gummies. Fourth a cup of the gelatin. Pour that in, got it all over me. And also a cup of sugar. Now I'm just gonna go back and forth kind of whisking these guys until they look ready to me, <laughs> I guess. Mm-hmm. Take our lovely reduced mixture here. This is the rosé one. And I have out our gummy bear molds. And I'm going to use a dropper. Now this might take an eternity uh, to do a dropper and do this, but I'm willing. Okay, so let's begin. What's interesting about agar agar is that, am I saying that right, agar agar, whatever, is that the freezing point of it, you know, when the molds get hard, it's just room temperature. So these are already ready to go. So that's pretty cool that you can make these so fast. 
I'm telling you, these are already ready. Oops. Look, he's already ready to eat. I'm going to eat him. Interesting. But delicious. I'm gonna keep making some more. I'll be back. Okay guys, here they are. Uh, these are the champagne ones. These are the rosé ones. Aren't they kind of cool? <laughs> nice. So I just want to show you what they look like if you decide you want to coat them in sugar. It gives them, a, obviously, a little extra sweetness. But they're still just as cute. Look at that guy. These also have a little bit more of a melt in your mouth, kind of more of a jello texture than a traditional gummy bear. These turned out really well. I'm actually really impressed with how quickly the agar agar solidifies just at room temperature. It's super fast. And yeah, these are really good. It says that these are best kept in the refrigerator. I like the regular champagne ones a lot more than the rosé ones. I wonder if I could toss them and eat them in the sky. I'll get it. Ugh, close. That was way off. <laughs> I don't know what that was. Nope. Nope. That was just straight up and down. That was way behind my head. Nice. <laughs> I did it. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will go ahead and see you guys again in my next one. Goodbye. <laughs>